you have now unlocked the door into another realm, a reality where sight, mind, imagination, and time collide. Prepare yourself for you are entering the dream zone. Welcome to the dream zone guys, where I discuss my dreams and maybe you guys can figure them out because I'm done trying to figure them out. Now I just go with the flow and enjoy them. And my dreams are either really crazy and funny or really, really scary. So I'm going to share them with you guys and see what you think. Maybe you'll be in, as entertained as I am when I wake up. But this first edition is called the All-Star Cast and you'll see why as we go along. Here we go. All right, this dream starts out at this apartment complex and I'm checking the mail and I see this you know big car drive by and two men in black get out and start knocking on my door and they're way on down the way you know so they don't see me at first and then my friend Angie's mom just happens to walk by and go into the door where apparently Angie lives right next to the mailbox and and I just go in after her. and the two men in black they see me and they start running towards me, you know, as fast as they can. So I go through the house, I see Angie standing there, so I'm just like, hey, bye. I go through, and then I'm just running on a field, and I'm just running, and I look back, and the guys are behind me, the, the two men in black. They are just running, chasing me down. They're like, you can't get away, you can't get away. Next thing you know, I'm in the middle of a city, and now I'm running down the street. And I'm running down the street and I look back and the two men in black are still chasing me, screaming, you can't get away, you can't get away. Well, there's a hospital to my left and I run in there, I run up the stairs and I duck into a patient's room and I'm waiting there and I, I'm thinking that they're gone. They didn't see me go in there. Well, in walks Wesley Snipes <laughs> and he's like, there's no escape now, Billy, you can't get away. And I'm like, you're Wesley Snipes, you're right. So I follow him out the door and he's taking me away. And I notice on his belt, he has like two cell phones as a belt buckle. And I go, hey, your cell phone's going off. And he looks down and I gave him a swift kick to the chest. He flies back, I start running down the stairs and I'm back on the street again. And then I stop and there's a whole SWAT team like waiting for me. And there just happens to be a guy with a rocket launcher standing behind me who's like pointing it right at me going, you can't get away, Billy. You just can't get away. So I grab his rocket launcher and rah, and blow up all the SWAT team. I mean, bodies are flying and everywhere. And now I'm running down the street again and I see a building. I run into it. I run up some stairs again and I get all the way to the top floor of the building and I run into this conference room for some reason and it has big bay windows. And I'm thinking, I'm looking down and I see everybody crowding up the streets and I'm like, okay, I'm safe. They didn't see me running here. Well, a Harrier jet comes down <laughs> and is facing the window and I could see the pilot and the pilot is none other than Anthony Mackie <laughs> who slides the cockpit open and looks out at me and it's like with a megaphone, Billy, there's no escape. You can't get away. You can't get away. And I'm like, Oh yeah, and I run and I jump out the window and land on the cockpit and throw him out, get into the cockpit, which I can't fly, so now the thing's like twirling down, and I landed on the ground, I jump out, and I'm running down the street again. And here I am, down the street, and I look behind me and everybody's chasing me again. I don't know what that Anthony Mackie scene was all about, but then I duck into an alley, and I run down the alley really fast, then I take a another turn down another alley and I come to a dead end and I look behind me and I see that everybody's crowding the road and I mean crowding the end of the alley that I just came from and they're all screaming you can't escape you can't escape and I'm like yep yeah, they're right now how am I going to get out of this well a bus comes <laughs> barreling down and it happens to be Evil Knievel's bus comes flying down and just crushes all the people up against the wall. And I know it sounds crazy, but I'm just trying to let you know what really happened. They crush the people on the wall and the doors open and it's like money starts flying out like in those money machines and out walks Tim Allen dressed like Evil Knievel. And he's like, 
come on, you can get away here. You can get away here. So I jump into the bus. He pulls out, and now we're kicking it down the highway. And we're riding down this bus. And for some reason, I start to realize that I'm in a dream. So I start grabbing the money that's flying around in the middle of this bus. I start grabbing the money and start putting it in my pockets of my jacket and thinking, if I wake up and have this money on me, maybe it'll stay with me. And I'm actually thinking this. And I look out the front window and, you know, Tim Allen's just driving the bus and there's a whole bunch of police cars chasing us. And I can see that the highway is out. He's going up this long stretch of highway, like upwards. But I could see that it's out and he's just riding along. And I'm like, hey, the, the road is out. The road is out. And he's like laughing at me like uh, John Candy off of planes, trains, and automobiles, like dressed as a devil, like laughing, like, ha, 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 And then we fly off the end of the thing. And that's all I can remember. I, I remember just waking up at that moment and just being like, what? was that about <laughs> i mean come on i mean an all-star cast was trying to two of them were trying to capture me and tim allen like came to my rescue as evil knievel i mean how cool is that anyway guys that does it for my first edition of the dream zone and what do you think about this all-star cast and why was i being chased and and I know there's many theories on how dreams are and why you do certain things and they have to do with what's going on in your life. And during this time, this was actually about six months ago that I had this dream. And it really what made me start thinking of doing this, you know, portion on my channel. And I can't figure out what was going on to make me dream those characters. I mean, in those specific, it's hard to say, specific actors. And they played a role, you know, they, they interacted with me and were actually trying to capture me, except for Tim Allen, who came to my rescue, which was awesome. But I really don't know why. I don't think I was going, nothing was really going on in my life where I needed to be chased. But a lot, you'll see if you keep on watching this show, if we keep on doing this, you'll see that in my dreams, I get chased a lot. Uh, but it ends up being either funny or really scary. So what do you think, guys? What do you think of that dream? I mean, let me know in the comments below. Do you have any crazy dreams? You don't have to explain into big detail, but let me know what kind of actors have interacted with you in your dreams. Now, you know they say that your brain remembers every face you've ever seen, so everybody that's in your dream is somebody that you've seen, whether it's on TV or walking down a street, you know, and you pass somebody, your brain records everybody's face. So people that you don't know in your dreams, you've actually seen them in real life. That's one theory. I mean, there are many of them. So what do you subscribe to and how many actors have you seen in a dream? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, guys, make yourself happy every day. And the only way to do that is to remember the only thing stopping you is you stopping. Bam!